Right, so I just launched a brand new sales page for my program, my online course, and I had so many people asking me, how did you create the typed headline animation for your page? And so in this video, I'm gonna show you the place that I go to get my scripts, my advanced CSS scripts, also kind of how to set them up inside of your ClickFunnels account. So if we take a look at my screen, you can see the page. It's a brand new page. It's more modern, I would say, with the gradients and the 3D design. So that's probably the biggest difference between my previous page and this new one is that we have more of a gradient 3D version to it. And so what I'm gonna show you is this right here at the top. So you can see the text animation and this is actually from CF Pro Tools. So you can see they have it here as well. I just you know, have my own custom font uploaded. I've added the gradient section to it. Really what it looks like on the inside. And by the way, there's a link below in the description. You can check it out. I am an affiliate just for full transparency. So if you use my link, thank you, appreciate it. And also send me an email at support at Gust and Son, and I will send you out some sweet bonuses for using my link. Uh, that also goes for ClickFunnels, by the way, link in the description. What you do, you search by keyword typed. So typed headline, and now with that comes this right here. And so what, what it does is CF Pro Tools and Jamie has videos for everything. And so there's a demo that shows how it works, then he shows you how to set it up and then how to configure it. And you really just like download the code from here. And then once that is set up, you go into your account, you go to tracking code and you add that code into your footer. So it's just a simple, paste in the text here. Now, as far as the headline goes, you go to the title and change that to exactly what he mentioned in the video, CF typed headline one. And then you also wanna have the headlines that you want it to animate into and change into. So what you wanna do there is just duplicate this and then change the headline to that title. Again, it's just, you know, you change one word instead of uh, typed or something, you change it into strings and it just switch over to that one. And it looks like a, a cool animation type thing with your headline. And so what you then do with these is you hide them down at the bottom, you hide those and boom, there you go. I'm just gonna delete this cause I don't need it, but that's how you get that. And also for the gradient, cause I, I'm sure some people ask me, how do you make them gradient? We have a CSS script for that as well where you put in the color codes that you wanted to switch from this one to the other one. If you want me to make another video on the gradient headline, comment below if you wanna see what that looks like. And so if you wanna check out the page to this and see kind of how I structured it, it is a new structure that I haven't gone with before for my programs. And what I'm heavily focusing on is the guarantee, so risk reversal and also FAQ because of objection handling. So is it for me, if it just, you know, if I'm just using ClickFunnels, is it for people who are more beginners or advanced and I'm explaining it in depth, all of them. And you can see, I don't use the typical drop down because I actually want to make it super easy for people to read everything. And uh, overall, the page is pretty easy to consume, I would say. And so a lot of white, well, not, it's not white space, but a lot of spacing around the design to give it space to breed. And so pretty ha happy with this so far. One thing that I will add is the hero section. Like I literally put this together the last uh, weekend in one day as I was sick. I'm still a little bit sick, but we're getting it done. So. That is it. If you want me to do a full breakdown of the page or a uh, live design, just put in the chat or the comments. You guys know I read every comment and I like respond and engage with all of them. So with that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.